Despite fears of the unknown, the national team takes to the Saint Laurent ice without betraying their inner emotions. Amidst a bevy of sports reporters and cameras, today's practice is for a light skate. Important matters of strategy are reserved for closed door meetings. The coaches tell the team that they are not expected to win every game. And if they lose, it should be by not too wide a margin. Everyone shares a belief that the games will be historic and will unquestionably leave an indelible impact on hockey. И, в общем-то, пришли к выводу, конечно, на таком уровне встречи необходимы. Необходимы не только для того, чтобы, в общем-то, удовлетворить интересы болельщиков, а для того, чтобы сам процесс хоккей, мировой хоккей, в общем-то, пошел на шаг еще дальше вперед. With just over 24 hours to the drop of the first puck, the visiting team enters the Montreal Forum a building they refer to as the Temple of Hockey. Practice is attended by Team Canada under specific order of Coach Sindon. The Canadians are surprised to see the poor quality of the Soviet skates and equipment. It fuels speculation that the opponent would be outclassed at every level. Какое беглое впечатление по поведению, по жестам сборной Канады. Игроков где-то у них проскальзывает высокомерное отношение к нашей команде. The talent they are observing is exceptional. Valery Harlamov, among the very best to ever play the game. Vladislav Tretiak, the goalie who fooled the Canadian scouts into thinking he couldn't stop a beach ball. Sindon's observations of Soviet teams leads him to an ominous conclusion. That team was as good as any of them, just as high skill level as any Soviet team that's ever been put together. Kulagin and Bobrov also felt that attending the home team's practice would provide valuable insight. Their exposure to the professionals is limited to books, articles and films, not unlike the Canadian players' exposure to the Soviets. Already, differences are apparent in how each team completes their preparation. If we looked at the whole training, then they looked at us for 5 minutes. They looked at us and said, well, with these guys, we'll be able to do it easily. We have such a strong feeling. It is a distinct possibility that continues to be rarely challenged in pre-game coverage. Everyone has a degree of confidence. The minimum requirement of showing well can be achieved. After all, they've publicly referred to the series as a test, a learning experience for the national program. As they finally see the legendary NHL stars in person, emotions churn within. Fear for country, though, is not unique to the Soviet team. With so much media attention being directed their way, everyone on the ice knows Canada's treasured reputation is also very much at stake. 